my attention goes to this uh, threaten, threatening our single intelligence and analysis capacity. Can you tell, tell us a bit more about uh, your intelligence analysis on the future conflict that we are expecting? Uh, we are in a war and we have to finish this war. We have to do it. We, but we also have to prevent future conflicts. Future conflicts? Somebody asked about this, what the future conflicts would be. I cannot give you a guess. But I could try and perhaps imagine not where or how they will take place. When I got into my position, nobody told me that there would be a war of such intensity in Europe and that we would have to invest 65 billion, which is what we have been investing in one year. 65 billion. I don't know whether you understand the, this figure when we were discussing the European Peace Facility at the beginning of the financial forecast, the member states said, oh, no, we don't need that much more money. We need only half of that. So they took it to half. And nobody ever thought that after that, you'd have to take another look and multiply it by two or perhaps even by three. So the problem is political. And you are the representatives of the citizens. It is you who have to convince your fellow citizens that this effort is worth the while, or it isn't.